The naked truth is what Kerubo was after, and with the ruling on a case that was tagged as the David and Goliath war, then it shows that the judicial reforms have had a positive impact in Kenya. Since she first appeared in the media, many things have changed. Her face has become recognizable by the public, limiting her movement, and she is now the picture of justice prevailing in the face of great adversity. But as the saying goes, the more things change, the more they remain the same. In her first appearance on camera since the ruling that recommended the dismissal of Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Baraza, KISS TV found Kerubo performing her duties as wife and mother. Having Director of Public Prosecution Kiriako Tobiko has already approved Baraza's prosecution on the village market incident, appointing acting Deputy DPP Dorcas Odor and Alexander Muteti, a principal prosecuting counsel, to engage the besieged Deputy Chief Justice. But on her part, Kerubo maintains she has forgiven Baraza, though she doesn't mind having her pursued for her harassment. And for the question on every Kenyan's mind, you are offered 3.5 million. She tells us of her experience before the tribunal, a time when she thought the truth will never be realized. The hearings and related matters have messed up her work schedule and her life is no longer the same. Indeed, life has taken a turn for the worse since the Baraza incident. Maisha kubadilika, ijabadilika, ikakuwa mazuri, imebadilika, ikakuwa mabaya. Kwa sababu, nisipoenda kazi, suwezi patakitu ya kukula. And she has to deal with not only the ruling against Baraza, but also the subtle changes it has brought. Mwari na nikitoka kazini na pandia gari nikikuja, ni ninafisi nyumba yake. So, ndiyo sababu inasema ni naokopa kwa. Rebecca Kirubo now retreats to her simple life, determined to rebuild her life after a time spent in and out of court. She is, however, pleased that justice prevailed in the end. Charity Oweru for News at 8.